I think in one other kind of point of defense of the worst parts of James Bond movies, Moonraker in particular, is that um, until the last couple of movies, they were all named after existing Ian Fleming stories. And the movies very often had absolutely nothing to do with the original Ian Fleming plot. They mm -hmm. might take a bit here and there. Um, and the original story, Moonraker, is about... Um, I think a Frenchman in England who's building rockets and they don't fly the rockets anywhere. It's just like the Russians or Spectre or whoever are stealing secrets about the rockets and James Bond has to infiltrate the organization and stop them. But it, it takes place in like the English countryside and he's like going undercover, something that James Bond never does. He always <laughs> shows up and says, I'm James Bond. And they're like, we know you're the world's most famous spy. And he's <laughs> like, yep. And I'm spying. And they're like, okay. And yeah. <laughs> Uh, James Bond really has like never it's my it was my dad's favorite series growing up and yet I never clicked with it still really don't but enjoy like a third of the movies it's not even so much the man whoring that bothers me although that bothers me more in the newer ones than the older ones like in because they know better that they're trying well, to pretty much I mean yeah uh -huh. the the Monica Bellucci stuff I just thought give me a break this is so off and then they never think about her ever again <laughs> and in this one it didn't feel egregious and in the old ones it doesn't feel egregious probably because it's just like you know it's going to happen but what does bother me is just the lack of i don't want a james bond movie to be full of introspection i don't want bond to ponder what it means to be a good man or <laughs> but i'd like him to think twice about the person he talked to in the last scene in the next sure. mm -hmm. uh, but there's bond there's nothing the now the past, the future, none of that matters. That's right. hundred percent. Bond doesn't have object permanence. <laughs> Clearly. I, I'm surprised Bond recognizes anyone's face, period. He's like Brad Pitt. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but how charming is Roger Moore?